Hello everybody, welcome back, it's MRE Wednesday and today's MRE is a vintage MRE this is Chicken a la King with accessory packet A which means there will hopefully be a, a coffee <laughs> for us, that would be awesome um, it's from Sir Paco, Mullins, South Carolina I uh, did Chicken a la King from 1988 to 1992 which puts it in the Gulf War era this could be 88, could be 89, could be 90 and so on we don't know, this pack might even have been in the Gulf War, but never got uh, eight ets in. <laughs> um, so this is menu six. Chicken Alley King, what I heard, was one of the least favourite menus of all the MREs that were out in that time. Why, I'm not sure. Hopefully, if it hasn't gone off, I'll hopefully get to find out. Then I'll say, oh yeah, now I know what's the <laughs> least favourite menu. So I don't think you see any of that, it's uh, right there, but, you know, it's um, black on brown, so <laughs> you're not really going to see it that much. I mean, the print has lasted, I'll give you that. Um, I want to preserve this bag and all its contents, just like I did with the last um, 90s MRE. Uh, so I'm going to cut a sucker from the back, and then I'll preserve the bag as it is. Right then, so we'll get this open. Ah. Hopefully, all the content survived. I'm, I'm excited because I can't see what, um, wait to see what's in the bag. Seriously, I really can't. Right, okay, there's nothing else in there. No, nope, she's empty. Temperature, oh, wobble. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's not too hot in there. Right then, okie dokie. First off the top is, and it just feels a bit sticky. Yeah, yuck. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Uh, that is the fruit, uh, fruit mix, I think, tropical. I can't quite make that out. Hang on, give me a second. Yeah, just give me a second. Fruit mix, fruit mix, uh, fruit mix. Uh, I think that's that. Um, uh, this is made in Texas, packed in Texas. I think that's that uh, fruit. Uh, in cold water to reconstitute. Uh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I, I know what that is. Yeah, I know what that is. Right. Okay. <laughs> Constituting is cold water. And we have emery crackers. Yes. If we have cheese with this, uh, I am going to be one happy bunny. I mean, the, if you open that, it's going to be a good hiss. I reckon. If this is, uh, um, I have to check the date out. Well, there's something there, but I, I can't quite make it out. It's black on brown, you know. It's <laughs> not good. Sam can use white print because, um, you know, you would be able to see it easy. But, um, and Marie Crackers, bonus. As you know, I'm a massive fan of MRE Crackers. And here we go with the first proper MRE sprue, which came out. Uh, a dinky little thing, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't think I want to use it. I want to preserve that as it is, to remind myself in what, 20 or 30 years, how good this MRE was. I'm, I'm not going to uh, use that spoon. I want to just preserve it as it is. That's awesome. I say this is the accessory pack, a uh, rough guess, so uh, it's very tacky. Can't find what the hell's uh, leaked out of this, but we'll, we'll come back to it. And what's this? This could be the culprit. Yeah, caramels. Dairy Fresh Craft Caramels. Ah, oh, man. And the chance of them, they feel quite soft. They're wrapped up. I don't think they've been punctured, but it, it's tacky, you know. So I guess some of it might have leaked out. Might, might have leaked out. But Craft Caramels, look at that. Wow. Touching a bit of history there. <whistles> Caramels. But we'll uh, have a look. <laughs> God, my it was, it was sticky. Ugh, tacky. Uh, I think this is a drink mix, I think. Uh, I can't, can't make it out. Um, hang on. Beverage based cherry. That sounds good to me. Beverage based cherry. Excellent. Right, what's this? 
This is peanut butter. Excellent. Now the problem is, I've got peanut butter already open from the uh, other MRE. Um, dare I open this or do I preserve it? Hmm. Interesting choice. Don't know at this precise moment in time. Right, okay then. That's nice rip rip pouches there. This is cocoa beverage powder. That's hot chocolate. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Sounds good. Nice little selection there. And hopefully here is the main meal. Chicken a la king. And we're looking for a date on this. Hopefully there'll be one. Inspector for the US. Uh, Chicken a la king. Um, packed by Shelf Stable Foods Incorporated, Evansville, Indiana. Cool. I can't see a date anywhere on this and that doesn't look good. That's I think that caramel tacky thing. No, it's, I don't see a date on this. There's no date at all anywhere. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Oh, um, unfortunately guys, I don't know what the date is on this. It could be, I mean, it's going to take further inspection of all these contents to look um, with a magnifying glass and a bright light. So I'm not going to put the year on this just yet until I find out what year it is. But we'll get that open. Of course, back then they didn't have the FRH. So maybe it might be stamped on here. Who knows? I doubt it, though. Right, so here we go. Chicken a la king. And maybe there might be a date code on this. And maybe. It's of course, if there is, it's right, it's black and I can't see anything. Okay. I mean, that little MRE spoon is very much doubted it'd reach down to the bottom of that, would it? <laughs> so have a look. Let's have a look from that second tear notch. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Tear off halfway down. Yeah, that reach. Good design. Nice one. <laughs> Right, uh, I'm just going to have a quick inspection of this. No, I can't see any date on it at all. Oh, bummer. Um, there must be a date on one of these packs, it has to be. Well, I've had a look at the peanut butter and it looks like 8091. So that makes that 1988. That's the date stamp, that's the clearest date uh, of all the packs here stamped with a good clear stamp you can see. So I'm going to call this a 1988 pack. It's one of the first ones that came out in 1988. So we are on to a winner. <laughs> so <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Wow, first proper 80s MRE I've ever had. So we've got the 1990s, now the 80s. Well, there you go. So that is the menu. Um, got peanut butter and crackers, excellent. That fruit mix thing over there, which needs water. Um, chocolate, cocoa beverage, powder, no coffee. Oh, hang on, accessory pack. Whoa, don't forget accessory pack. God, I might help. I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. God, blind. what treasures have we got in here? Wow, let's have a look. Right, so here we go then. So, first off the top is obviously the teepee. Something bay, something. Uh, I can't quite make it out. Yes, yeah, so that's TP. Look at that proper toilet paper from the 80s. <laughs> How awesome is that? Uh, wet wipe. Uh, I've seen that before. Yeah, I had one of those in the last one. Oh, upside down might help. Yeah, I had this, uh, this one wet nap, which I think I still got. Moist towelette. Yes, excellent. Orangeburg, New York. Mm. It's a new one. Uh, what the heck is this? Chicklets. Look at that. Wow. Little box of chicklets. Oh, man. And they still smell minty. <laughs> a little box of chicklets. Look at that dinky little box. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, oh, that's heaven. I am so excited. It's by one little box. It still smells great. 
Whether they survived, I don't know, but that's exciting. A uh, bag of sugar. Of course, you know, I'm not allowed sugar, but I'll preserve this in the, uh, in the packet came in. I'll put that back in the packet came in. Uh, MRE matches. Oh, well, it might help. Ah, there you go, like sort of green tops. Interesting. I've seen that before. I can't see them. No BD beans and suns. I can't make any anything there, but uh, I'll have a look with the magnifying glass if I can spot something. Great. Uh, what's next? Of course, the standard iodized salt, which is in every single MRE. Well, most of them anyway. <laughs> Okay, what's this then? We have substitute non-dairy for coffee or tea, four grams net. Wow. And it still sounds good. It's, 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 um, you can hear the powder. And this must be the coffee. There has to be the coffee. It must be. Yeah, coffee instant type 1. I was right. Type 1 in the 80s, type 2 in the 90s, and type 3 in the uh, 2000s. Wow, that's awesome. White Plains, New York. Mmm, food service products division. God, blimey. This is pre Gulf War. Oh my god. With absorbic acid. Wow. Can't hear anything, but. Yeah, it's popping powder. Probably powder form. But we have a coffee and um, a cold drink and a hot chocolate. Oh, lordy, I so don't want to open the hot chocolate, but I've actually got hot chocolate preserved from last time. So, anyway, that's enough talking for me. Um, I'll put the stuff back into the um, pack, whatever I'm not using. Um, God, it still smells, <laughs> as, as it was. But that, chiclets, that's awesome. I've never seen a box of chiclets like that. Well, maybe I've had, but forgotten. So, uh, there we go, 1988 MRE and the contents. Well, like Steve 1989 says, <laughs> sorry Steve if you're watching this, sorry Steve 1989 even, uh, <laughs> like he says, let's get this laid out onto a tray. Well, I looked on the matches, it says B.D. Allen and Sons. Interesting. Before Bean. Interesting, it used to be B.D. Bean and Sons, now B.D. Allen and Sons. 1988. Wow, awesome. Right, that accessory packet is uh, going back into the bag and I'm going to preserve that stuff. Uh, and also I've noticed there's no um, hot sauce. You know, usual hot sauce or whatever. Right, okie dokie, there we go. Uh, she's led onto a tray now. 1988 I'm calling this. And I'm pretty excited to be honest because this is going to be awesome, I think. Maybe disappointing when we get to the um, caramels. <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to opening that up. It's really sticking. Ugh. I don't want to chuck it out either because, you know, it's it's a bit of history there. You know, it's a bit of history. Craft caramel. Crafts are still making caramels. I know because I had a bag just um, this year. Made back in, in 1988. Dairy fresh. Wow. Well, we'll have a smell anyway when we, when we try and get the pack open. I say try. Right, okay, everything's laid onto the tray, so let's get cooking and unpacking. Okie dokie, the meal is on, the meal is out on. Right, okay. That is, I think, the cherry beverage powder. Yeah, that's cherry, so we'll get that open. Such a shame, I tell you. <laughs> Contents are just the best thing I've seen. In, well, not since the, um, I held that uh, nut fruit and fruit cake in my hand from the uh, bloggers thing, and that, that was awesome, I tell you, because as you know, back in the 86 I had one from a brown bag MRE, and I can't get it open. So, uh, you know, it kind of made it a bit tacky there, I think. It kind of made me feel like a kid again, and that's I was, uh, like I said last time, I was a teenager. In the um, same year this was made, I was actually age 20. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was age 20 when this bag was made. Wow. What the hell happened? Been all those years ago. Yeah, it still smells good. Nice cherry smell there. Let's see what happens, shall we? We've done the whole lot in. 
get over and done with. Or dump the whole lot in. Oh, so a text or something there. Um, is that going to reach down to the bottom? Yeah, just. Well, I'll tell you, we will unpack this, but when I'm done with it, I'll uh, put it back in the bag to preserve it. Look at that. Wow. Modern comparison. 1988 and um, a 2000s MRE spoon. Look at that. <laughs> that precise comparison. <laughs> awesome. Right, okay then. So let's give it a stir and get my fingers wet. This has probably been um, in, either in the bottle or, bottle or the canteen. I've got my canteen here. Okay, well, I'll come back to that. Let's turn this. <laughs> it's got slightly pink or red, but uh, we'll just give it a quick clean up. There we go. Right, let's have a smell of cherry. Eh? It's cherry. There's a slight cherry smell to it. And it tastes of cherry. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> 1988, I was 20 when that was made. My gosh. Right, okay, I'm starting to get excited now, guys. <laughs> I'm getting excited now. Calm down, Paul, calm down. Um, here's that fruit mix. Um, we'll uh, have read the instructions, find out what you have to do. Well, basically, you. Uh, open the pouch of these tear notches, you pour water in, you let it soak up, you know, mix up, you mix it up with a spoon, and you just eat it out of the pack. Wow, we might just do that, I don't know. Let's see if we've got any uh, tray space left. Ah, don't think there was a hiss there, I'm not sure. But there we go, there's the dried fruit mix, which I have seen quite a few times from Old Smoky. Uh, was an awesome reviewer, as well as Steve, as well, another awesome main man, the main man. <laughs> So I smell. Yeah, <laughs> that still smells good. Wow, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try a bit of this. Dry, it'd probably be yucky, but let's try a little bit. Probably a little bit in there somewhere. Yeah, there's a tiny little bit. Try that. Let's try that. I'm gonna reach to constitute my mouth. Well, we'll get some water. Um, I'll avoid tearing that because I'd better shut that back up and seal it. Um, we'll get some water and um, we'll do that. For a dry fruit mix, not bad really. No, not big. You, you can actually eat that if you use your own mouth to, you know, make it wet. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So, we'll put some water in this. If I don't mess it up. Not sure exactly how much I'd put. It didn't say. I'll probably assume it's enough to cover it like that. I'll probably just uh, just poke it down into the water, I suppose, and uh, we'll let it soak and see what happens next. Just to see, you might have a little bit more water into that. Right. Okay. Well, um, I think it's some cherry there as well. Some peach, maybe. Right, we'll let that uh, constitute. Um, where the hell can I stick this? I'll stick up against my uh, evil doll. <laughs> we'll probably make an appearance sooner or later. She likes videos. Right, okay. Um, caramel time. Um, I can't find my knife blade. I'm going to need my scalpel blade to open that, I think. I don't really want to. But, you know, it's um, tacky. Well, I'll see if I can get my knife in there. See if I can open this up with a knife. It might work, it might not. Might work. Wow. I probably won't be able to eat them. Does the caramel go off? I know that for a fact. It smells alright. It smells old, sort of. <laughs> but where do I get it out is another story. It's quite tacky. I might have to cut the sucker. Yeah, look at that. Ah, goo. <laughs> That's a goo. <laughs> oh my god. 
Look at that. Oh, man. I'll tell you what that needs. I'll tell you what it needs. That needs to go into a freezer and to let it harden up. I think if you put it into a freezer, that would preserve it as it is. I think. You could probably just, when you want to get it out, you could probably just get it out, open it up, and, um, you know. God, my hands are so sticky. Where's that moist towel in? <laughs> oh, I've got a tissue here, that's right, I'll use it. I'll use my tissue. Right, okay then. Okie doke. Alright. So, that's uh, that one. Wow. Mushed. <laughs> Mushed. Utter mush. Uh, MRE crackers. Yes. I can't remember if it's the oldest MRE crackers I've ever had. I don't know. I think so. I'm going to opening this. Let's try the bigger end. Yep, there's a big hiss there. Did you hear that? I let myself a little bit more. Um, not my camera off or anything. Right, there we go. Wow. Look at that. 1988 MRE crackers. And they're in perfect condition. My gosh. Wow. And they still smell great. Oh man, I feel like a kid at Christmas time. Look at that, in perfect nick. Yeah, it smells old, it's got that old military smell, but that's nice, I like that. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. Oh, calm down, calm down. Let's give us an eating. Don't really want to open this, but let's just do it. I can always uh, put a peg on it and, uh, you know, Preserve it for a future uh, doodle when I get some MRE crackers. If any of you out there have MRE crackers you don't want, please get in touch somehow and send me them, you know. Or I'll pay for them or whatever because, you know, I mean, I do love MRE crackers. They are awesome. I'm allowed to have them. They're perfectly fine. They go well with cheese, well with peanut butter. Never had one with jam yet. But if you guys out there have any that you don't want, Please, I beg you, can I have them? Because <sighs> that would be awesome. I love peanut butter. I'm um, sorry, um, emery crackers. Um, I will uh, cut a slash in that with my knife. Yeah, did it. Smells good. Smells good. Well, well, we'll try and make a peanut bunny. Whether it works, I don't know. We'll have a go. But look at that. <whistles> 1988. I was 20. 20 years old, and that was packed. My gosh. Okay, one there, one there, sort of. <laughs> Lip. Now comes the tricky bit, which I can never do. I've seen old Smokey and Steve do it, but I just can't do it. <laughs> I just cannot do it. It just never goes right for me, does it? Uh, trying to squeeze this at the top. I just had a quick taste of that lid, and you know what, it smells, it tastes great. No, it's a disaster, I failed to make a peanut buddy again, oh, bummer, bummer, oh well, never mind, never mind, I did it last time though, didn't I, got it right last time, never mind, never mind, never mind, okay, we'll spread some of this uh, excellent peanut buddy, I've got great dessert here. Great dessert, those, along with the uh, mixed fruit, if it still works. Right, okay then. So we'll stick that over there. And let that, uh, look at that. I'm going to have to lick this guy, sorry. Yeah. For 30 years old, of course, that's, I forgot it's 30 years old, isn't it, is Murray? That peanut butter is bloody good. <laughs> I'm amazed. Seriously, I am amazed by that. Right. Um, what we'll do... I'll start some of this cherry aid. I'm a bit thirsty. That's amazing, guys. Or well, if you only had, um, if you ever get this, you know, 
find an 1880 that has a cherry and a cherry cherry in it and get it. That's really nice. A 30 year old beverage bottle <laughs> is awesome. Oh, it's an old peanut butter, 30 years old. Wow. <whistles> Chiclets. Oh, look at that pack. I love it. Uh, what I'm going to do is have the coffee with um, that. I'll make the coffee last because, you know, that does hold a lot of heat. But um, let's just shift that out of the way. Put this over here for a minute. Um, that holds a lot of heat, so it'll take a while. What I'll do, I'll have dinner, then I'll make the coffee as I'm doing this, dinner, and it, it should be ready in time, um, along with this constituted fruit mix. Right, okay then. Well, I'll try and get this open. I don't really want to. Uh, chicks, chicklets, flavour, coated gum. Wow. God, I've got big fingers. <laughs> big finger time again. Oh. I think it just peels off the top. Yeah, I think it peels off with big fingers, but I think I've got it. I might use that knife to try and flip the top open. I'll just do this off cold. It's impossible. Okay, we're back. So, I didn't destroy the box too much. Don't want to destroy that box. That's awesome. Look at that. Didn't want to destroy the box too much. Little flat there. But what I'll do is after I'm done, I'll glue that lid shut. <laughs> after I have the last gum, obviously. There you go, 1988 gum, 30 years old. It still smells good to me. Right, okay then. So, fruit mix is going well, yeah, that's looking well. Let's have a bit of a stir up in there and push it down. So, I can see some cherry and peach. Um, we'll make some peach and pears. Look at that, wow. 30 years old. Oh my gosh. Right, evil doll. Let's put that back in the bag. Right, okie dokie. Um, that's just a mush, isn't it? That's utter mush. <laughs> in this day, you know, it depends where you are in the world when you have this. It would probably been fine, but that's 30 years old. You know, so it's quite tacky. I think it'd be better kept in the freezer, in my view. Right, so we're waiting for dinner then. I'll go check. Right, okay. Um, well, the meal just started boiling, so it's now... 10 to 1, we'll give it to, um, we'll give it to, um, 102, which is 12 minutes, and then we'll, uh, come back. Um, I'm going to try and preserve this pack as it is and cut it from the back. It's quite tricky without a blade, I don't know where my blade went to. It's, uh, very tricky. I think that went through. I think that went through. Yeah, I think it did. Bit tricky that. Okay, done. Uh, it's a fine powder, not the uh, frozen coffee granules that we used to see in the type threes. So let's pour this in and look for mold. Look at that fine powder. Look at that. Wow. My oh, gosh. Well, I'm looking, and it looks perfectly fine to me. Excellent. Look at that. And there's a beautiful coffee smell coming out of that. Wow, that's going to be awesome. This, will, I think, might be the oldest... Um, might be the oldest um, coffee I think I've ever had. Oh. <laughs> Where's that one? Uh, yeah, here it is. Um, I'll just um, open that one. Right, there we go. Non-dairy creamer. Still in excellent condition. So let's pour that in. There we go, that lovely white powder. Excellent, look at that. Coffee waiting to be made, that is going to be awesome. Yep, yeah, smells good in the packet. I've preserved it very well. Both packets preserved, you can't even sort of more or less tell they've been opened. Hardly. So it's a fan of and sort of a little cut there, but it's alright. they will go back into the accessory bag. We'll do that now. Okay, then I will be back in 12 minutes. Put in the accessory bag. There we go, she's back in nice and safe. Let's have one last quick drink of this. Wow. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. My gosh. That's got so potent cherry taste after 30 years. Wow. My gosh. 
Um, we got the cocoa beverage powder maker as well. I don't really want to own that, but we'll do it. What the heck? I, I have got one that the blogger gave me from the 80s, so I, I will do this one. We'll do that one um, after the um, tea. I'll have that one as like, like a sort of bedtime afters type thing, you know. Right, okay. I'll see you um, in about uh, seven minutes. Right, um, just have to give some shout outs while I'm here. Um, Henry and Cindy Schmied, was it? Schmied, Schmied? Uh, Schmied's Ration Reviews. Cindy, husband, um, Henry, reviewed my part one of my breakfast MRA. Of course, she won the competition that I had. Um, her husband, I hope she tried some of it as well. Um, did a great review on the part one breakfast. He did a great job, you know, I could have done any better myself. Um, and he pointed something out about the honey in the sesame bar, which I've got in that British MRE. Uh, I didn't actually know there's honey in this, I've not read the contents yet. So that's what that was that leaked out, it was honey. So, you know, it might, it might be all right, we'll, we'll see. Um, but yes, yeah, so please subscribe to Henry and Cindy, Cindy's, so is that again? Henry and Cindy Schmeeds, or Schmeid, um, Russian Reviews. I will put their name down there so you can go and check them out. Please do it, because um, they, they did a great job in part one. I can't wait to see part two and part three, if there is a part three. I enjoy watching, uh, watching part one. It's great. I'm going to watch it quite a few times, because I liked it. It was awesome. And also another guy called Traversing Food. Traversing Food. Um, I'll put his name down there as well if you want to check him out. Uh, he started about six, seven, eight months ago, I think, something like that. He's done quite a few now, as, you know, like we all do, like the French and Russian, well, I, I, you know, can't get that. Uh, French, Russian, um, um, French, MRE, Lithuania, that sort of thing. So go and subscribe to Traversing Food. I say their names will be at the bottom of this, in the description. Of course, my buddy, the blogger. You know, he's a great guy. I like him, he's awesome. Um, I've not heard from him in about four or five days. I hope he's alright. Because um, we're in touch by Messenger and stuff, and we stay in touch. Um, Mr. Blog, I hope you see this, buddy. I hope you're uh, okay. I've not heard from you in a while, mate. So, you know, I hope you haven't gone to hospital and everything's fine and peachy peachy. If not, please get in touch and let me know what's going on. I am concerned. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're fine, bud. No, everything's fine. Um, but subscribe to those people, and I'll put their names down there, and I'll be back in about four or five minutes. Right, time for the main event. Chicken and the King, 30 years old, 1988. We will, what do we do? Top or bottom? Hmm. Uh, I'll think, uh, no, I'll, I'll go from the, the middle. We're, we're, we're across the middle if it rips, of course. Arrgh. No, I'm not saying old job again. Why is bag go stiff? Arrgh. I don't know. And when you have it cold, it rips easily. <sighs> yes, this one looked tired. No, okay. Right, we got it. Wait, do it from the top. There we go. Clean cut. Right, okay. After 30 years old, is Chicken Ala King going to be fine or is he going to kill me? I will know what a smell and possible taste. There we go. Chicken Ala King, 30 years old. I was 20 years old when this was made. Let's pour her out and find out why. Ow, that's very hot. <laughs> There we go. Let's have a smell. Smells per perfectly fine to me. The uh, smell is good. I like the smell of that. So, here we go then guys and girls. And also Kaylin Strain. I keep forgetting to mention Kaylin Strain. Because, uh, like I said, if it's not written down, I'll just forget the person's <laughs> Yeah, Kaylin Strain, of course, go and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And watch her videos. You've got Canadian IMP coming up. 
Um, I think she's got it already. Uh, I'm waiting for the review of that, and I'm looking forward to that because I like the Canadian MREs. They really do know how to make um, a good MRE, them guys, and feed their soldiers right. So I can't wait to see what she has. Anyway, so chicken a la king. Why was it the least favourite MRE after 30 years? We'll soon find out. Smells good. I think there's a P there. It looks like a P. It's had well over 12 minutes boiling. It's very bright out here as well. Let's have another bit. Well, I'll tell you something guys and girls. After 30 years, that chicken a la king is bloody good. I am not BSing you, I tell you. You know, if I wasn't good, I would not eat it. I'd say, hell no. <laughs> but after 30 freaking years, that MRE is amazing. Wow. You can taste the sodium, a little bit of sodium in there. You can taste that. But that chicken was as good as the day it was packed back in 1988. My gosh, that is a nice, nice little dinner. Yeah, I think there's some carrots and peas in there, I think. I think so. The, the chicken's nice though, it's nice and stringy, just the way I like it. But there's no bad smell, no bad taste coming off of that. I am amazed by this little, um, little MRE spoon. Which I'm going to treasure to the day I die. I'll clean this up and I'll put it back in this little bag. I'll put it back in the uh, MRE bag with the other one. But guys, seriously, I'm I'm tripping right now. I'm buzzing. That's how excited I am eating this dinner. It's just amazing condition after 30 years. <laughs> you know, I really I spent this. I was really expecting this to be terrible. But it's not, it's really, really freaking nice. A nice bit of chunky chicken. Stringy chicken as well. Just the way I like it. Yummy. Well, possibly carrots and peas. I see a pea there. Some red, probably carrot maybe. But, there is, I don't know why this was the least favourite meal. It's awesome. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm just stunned. Stunned by this meal, it's awesome. If I was a soldier back in the 80s and I had this, I would be freaking excited. That was really nice. Why? I can't, I mean, if somebody knows why that was the least favourite, please come and tell me, because I don't know. Maybe I'll smoke you or steer if you're watching this, or one of the other guys. And I'm, I know for a fact that some of the uh, reviewers were actually in the army at that time. So if you're seeing this, guys, can you please come tell why you, everybody says this is the least favourite. There's just nothing wrong with it at all. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I can hear Multi Magnum John, 62. Um, Multi Magnum 62, John. I can hear him say, Paul, why are you not going to crunch that up there to give it a bit of texture? Well... Same reason is I've got MRE cheese still in the fridge and I would love to smother that 30 year old cracker in freaking cheese. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind guys, that's why I'm not going to crunch it up. Okay, it would have had some great texture, but I'm not going to. That's going to be had with MRE cheese in the next few days. That is going to taste absolutely awesome, just like the last one did. I think I've got enough in there to smother it with the MRE cheese. Mmm, that is awesome. Wow. I can't believe I was 20 when this was made. Now I'm 50. Oh my gosh. Where did time go? You have to fly by at 200 miles an hour. It never slows down. Um, I've still got the plaster on my foot. It's not coming off till the 27th of June. So it's going to be about well over six weeks this time. Bummer. I'm stuck at home, can't go anywhere, can't do anything. 
I haven't taken one of my mother's electric uh, mobility scooter. There you go, 30 year old P. Look at that, whoa. Soft. <laughs> it's still soft after 30 years. Awesome. Look at that, nice bit of chicken this meal. I really don't understand why it was his favourite. Got some really nice chicken, nice sauce. Not sure what the sauce is, it might be mushroom maybe, not sure. But, um, or chicken sauce, it's very nice. But well cooked, well heated. And that is the best chicken I think I've had in a while. Right, okay, I'm going to finish this up. Um, I'll go and um, boil the cat on, where I'll make this um, coffee up. Um, I'll have to wipe that down with some towel and um, clear that up once I've had dinner. Right, okay, and then we'll have a dessert, see peanut butter and that and that. <laughs> then um, I'll make up the beverage powder, cocoa, this will always be the oldest cocoa I've ever had. And one last mouthful, this yummy chicken. And um, we'll be back. Oh man, that was fantastic. Seriously, I'm not kidding you guys. No BS, that was an amazing chicken dinner. Seriously. <laughs> right, let's uh, make this coffee up. Time for coffee. My favourite MRE coffees. Type 1. Had it once, I think, before. Okay, we'll give it a stir up. Halfway up the marker, I'll always have it. But this takes a long, long time to cool down. So by the time I've uh, tried everything, uh, we'll come back. And um, there we go. 30 year old coffee. Awesome. Let's have a smell. Can't wait. Yeah, still smells good after 30 years. Fantastic. Right, okay. Coca beverage powder. Let's make this up. Um, I think what I might do is put some onto a spoon and maybe spoon it in, I don't know. No, can't do it. Well, there you go. 30 year old. I don't know what the timer is on this, there's no timer. Uh, it's very bright out here, so I hope this is not too long. If it is, I apologise. There we go, 30 year old hot chocolate, army hot chocolate. That spoon, I think we might be able to have some of this later. I don't think it needs all of it. I don't think so. Let's put hot water in. Oh, great. <laughs> half, a, <laughs> half a cup. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Let's just have another spoonful. This is how we do hot chocolate here. We don't use a whole pack. We just spoon it in to whatever consistency you want it. You know. So I can have some of this look like seal it back up again. Put a um, you know, thingy on it. And I can have some at a later date. You know, no, no biggie. 30 year old hot chocolate. Right, okay then. There you go. Oh man, it smells just like the day it's packed. Fantastic. Okay, I'll put this over here out of the way. Bring these just a little bit more of a mix up. But, um, you know, that I can show you just two spoonfuls is enough to make that into a really great coffee. Sorry, I meant hot chocolate. <laughs> that coffee's got coffee on the brain now. Right, okie dokes. Uh, let's have a look at this. It looks very reconstituted to me. So we'll pour this out into that tray. Look at that. Wow. In, in juice. Just like a day it was packed. The oldest fruit cocktail I've ever had. A nice little cherry there. There's some peaches. Not sure what the other, Maybe mango or melon. Not sure. But uh, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Right. Okay then. So... It's now snack time. We'll have uh, MRE crackers and peanut butter, which I know is going to taste fantastic together. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Right, 
so it's all. One bite is all you need, really. That's, that's fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I get the same effect when I'm in, um, having the MRE cracker with cheese. Is that, oh, sorry, is that the same noise I do? That's fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh man, that's so good. After 30 freaking years. Absolutely stunning that cherry is. I'm going to have that for my tea later on tonight. Mmm, I have it with my tea even. But that is absolute heaven. Right, okay, I don't want to make this video too long, so let's uh, speed it up a bit. Right, I'm um, not. If I have. I think it's going to be too hot. Yeah, it's way too hot right now. Okay, we'll come back. I'll always pause the video. Try a bit of hot chocolate instead. Right, 50 mug. Yeah, fantastic. After 30 odd years. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's um, spoon this uh, caramel. Uh, let's just try. Try this caramel. Let's try that little bit there. <laughs> See what it tastes like. Um, no, no, it doesn't taste off, it's got a very old taste, but I think there's some packing there as well, yeah, there's some, some plastic packing, um, it's got a really sort of old, old, really old toffee taste. Uh, it's not that good, really, to be honest. It's very sticky, very tacky, and I think I'm going to pass. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that. No thanks. Well, we'll skip right past that. I'll put that in the freezer and preserve it as it is. Right, so a cherry. There we go. Right, dried fruit mix. First time I ever had it. After 30 years, tastes alright, nothing wrong with it, perfectly fine. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all, got like a, a slight weird taste after, but, you know, if you were a soldier, you'd, you'd want this, back in the 80s. Yeah. It's alright. Not bad. Not bad. Right. Okie dokie. Okay, chicken is already. Um, we'll have a sip of the coffee and we'll do a summary. If it doesn't burn my mouth. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. That is a nice coffee. It's got a nice taste, doesn't taste off. No weird aftertaste. That's a good type one, coffee type one. I've had that, that's two now I've had. Two coffee type ones and everyone's been perfect. No taste of choice. I've been bad. So, right, okay, I don't want to prattle on for too long. So let's round this up and get this finished. Well, because I don't know what the time is on this video. So, um... Start with the Emery cracker. Emery crackers, peanut butter, excellent mega thumbs up. Peanut butter's fine after 30 years. Coffee and non dairy creamer, fine after 30 years. Brilliant. Big thumbs up for that one. I'm going to finish this up and with everything else. That mixed dry fruit, never had that before. It's, it's still good after 30 years. The craft caramels, unfortunately, didn't survive, unfortunately, but I'm going to keep that in the freezer just for um, old time's sake, just to remember it. Excuse me. Um, the accessory pack was great. Loved everything in that. I'm going to preserve it as it is. So I have one last thing of that coffee before I finish it up. 
Yeah, that's a nice little coffee. You know, there's a nice bit of strong in there. Yeah, that, that strong sort of non non mild coffee taste. But it was amazing. Seriously, absolutely stunning. Hot chocolate, same thing. After 30 years, it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I'll if. If I want to sleep at night, I'll definitely have that with some hot milk. Guaranteed sleep. Right, chicklet's gum. Let's have that before it's, uh, we run out of video or whatever. 30 year old gum. Oh yeah, still minty. Mmm. A lot stronger than the last one. I had the MRE gum. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, that took a lot long, and uh, not as long as the last emery gum I had to get together in the mouth. But it's still got an amazing mint taste. I think it's peppermint, I think it is. But that is awesome, seriously. Well, I'm going to chew that for quite a few hours like I did the last time after I had my dinner. And I'll put this back in the fridge. Or I'll put that in the freezer. Put that in the fridge for tonight, and I'll finish up everything else. So, that's it from me. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to Henry and Cindy's, sorry, Henry and Cindy Schmeeds, the nest on the end, hyphen, um, sorry, uh, quest, um, you know, comma, um, Ration Reviews, Traversing Food, and The Blogger. I'll put all their names down there. I will say bye-bye um, from the psycho day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye <laughs> from the psycho. And I'm going to enjoy finishing this up, guys. That was a great review. Friggin' loved it. Two thumbs up. After 30 years, I was 20, 20 when this was made, and it's absolutely stunning. I am as happy as Larry, I tell you. Absolutely freaking amazing. So that's it for me. Bye-bye, and I'll see you on Saturday for an American Snack Review from Mr. Blogger. I'll be back next week with a MRE. What it is yet? Um, what it is doing? I don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming to the lights. You're awesome, guys and girls. Take care of yourselves. Have a great week. And bye-bye for me. Cheers for watching. It was freaking awesome.